Hi guys and welcome to DIY Ideas and welcome to a new video here with a cute pattern tutorial. I'm going to show you a puff stitch here, pretty thick, pretty compact, great for fall or winter, um, really nice and warm. You can see it here from the side, kind of, um, you know, how voluminous it is, how thick it is. These puffs here are, um, they have seven wrap rounds, so really thick and um, yeah, it's just, you know, a little more compact. Um, but you can see the little holes kind of in between because of the, the distance um, in between the V's. Um, but yeah, it's really, really warm. A really cute wool here with the color fade. How exactly I did this uh, and which tools I used, I'm gonna show you now. Have fun! Okay guys, so this is the wool here that I'm using. It's called Riverton Yarn Special from Allison and May and I bought it at Action. 60% acrylic, 40% polyester, 150 grams and 240 meters um, length, exactly. And um, let's see, we just talked about what it's made of. Uh, meant for size 4.5 crocheting hooks, I'm actually gonna use my size five. And this is a type of yarn that's like twisted, so it's a white thread wrapped around or twisted around a color fade thread. Um, okay, so let's start here. We will start here with some chain stitches. We will start with a multiple of four plus five chain stitches. So I'm gonna do 12 here. So three times four plus five. Um, so we have 17. Four, five, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. All right. So we have seventeen chain stitches here. We will skip the first three um, and go into the fourth one. Um, and so we wrapped around uh, the third already before. Then we kind of pull it up and now we have three loops on the hook. Then again, we uh, wrap it around, pull it through. So now we have five loops on the hook and then we do this again. So we wrap the thread around the hook and we pull the thread through. And so now we have two more loops. So we have seven loops now. And so I'm just gonna take the thread now and pull it through all seven. Then we add a chain stitch and we do the same thing again, into the same um, stitch. So wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through, now we have five, wrap around, pull through, now we have seven. Then we pull the thread through all of these seven loops. Um, that's, you know, easiest when you kind of pull it all up a little bit. And then we have um, this side of the V. So we have these two puffs and the chain stitch in between. That's how we kind of get this V-shape. Then again, we skip three and do it again. So wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through. So we do, we do this three times and then we pull it through. After three times, you should have um, your seven loops on the hook. Wrap around, pull through, and then pull through all seven. And then we're done with this one. Then again, we skip three of the chain stitches down here, go into the next one and wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through. Wait. Okay. And we have seven on the hook. And so we add the chain stitch and then do it again. We always wrap around and pull the thread through three times. And then we should have seven loops on the hook and we pull the thread through all seven. Then again, we skip three. And here we have, um, yeah, just space for another one of these. So wrap around and pull through three times and then pull the thread through all seven loops. Chain stitch. And again. Wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through, now we have five, wrap around and pull through, now we have seven. And then pull it through all seven loops. And then here at the very end, we have one chain stitch left over. We go in here and we'll, we will add a double crochet. 
And then here we have the width of our scarf. Um, so with the double crochet at the very end, we have the counterpart to the three um, chain stitches on the other side. All right, here we start again with three chain stitches. We turn it all around and then we always go in, um, basically in between the two puffs. So right where the chain stitch is. So we wrap around and we go here underneath the chain stitch and we start the whole process again. So wrap around, pull through three times and then pull the thread through all seven loops, then add a chain stitch and do the same thing again into the same spot. All right, when you have the seven loops, pull the thread through all seven. Um, so maybe you've noticed that we don't add a chain stitch after the second puff. There's just a chain stitch in between um, the two puffs, like in between the V basically. So we don't have one in between the, the Vs, just in the middle of the V. All right, so here again. Now we have seven on the hook, pull it through all seven, chain stitch, and again. Seven, pull through, and into the next spot. Always right underneath the chain stitch of the V before. Once you have the seven loops on the hook, you pull the thread through all seven and add a chain stitch. And then again, three times, wrap around, pull through until you have seven loops on the hook and then pull through all seven. Here we are into the last um, V now. So again, wrap around, pull through three times. So we have seven loops on the hook, then pull through all, add a chain stitch and again, three times the same process until you have seven on the hook and then pull through all seven. And you can see here how nicely this pattern actually looks already. Then here in the very end, around the chain stitches of the row before, we add a double crochet. And with that, we're done with row number two. I'm gonna show you one more row here. We already have a nice color switch here. So we start with three chain stitches, then we turn it around. We find our first spot where we're going into and we start again. So three times we do wrap around, pull through until we have seven loops on the hook, add a chain stitch, and then again, wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through until you have seven on the hook and then pull the thread through all seven loops. Find the next spot where you're going in the same procedure, procedure here, wrap around, pull through three times, then a chain stitch, and then again, three times, wrap around and pull through. Then pull the thread through all seven loops. Find the next spot, five and seven, pull it through all seven. And then again here into the same spot, three, five and seven and then pull it through. All right, last V. Okay, after you're done with the first part, don't forget the chain stitch. And then again, three times the same procedure here until you're done with the last V. And then we add the double crochet here at the very end. And then we're done with row number three. So this is what it looks like now. I'm gonna do another two and then I'll show you my result. Okay, so I said I was gonna do another two, but I actually did a few more. <laughs> um, just because the, yeah, the really cute color fade here and I, I really like what the, what the colors look like here. So I just continued a little more because we reached this nice mint color up here. Um, so it's really cute. Um, I love the color fade here and the different color tones and how nicely they go together. But also um, really what the pattern looks like. I think it looks great. Um, the two puffs always together, they kind of have like a heart shape or maybe a V shape. It kind of looks almost like it's knitted. Um, but I think it's really, really cute. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you really liked this video. If you would like to watch more, please visit my channel and subscribe for free. And please share this video with your friends and see you next time.